Hey, what's going on, people? Um, Want to make another video? Short, sweet. Kind of going to talk about. It's going to be about anger, but I'm not going to go too far into it. I'm not going to go too detailed into it. Um, and I'm. It's pretty much just going to be, which is helpful. It's helpful to know. I am in like self-evaluating, but it's going to be more so like where anger fits in like the emotional spectrum kind of thing. Like it's place in that, which would make sense as I'm, as I get into it. Diving right into it. Something that's good to know is that anger is, I guess a good way to say it is it's a, like a tip of the iceberg kind of an emotion. And I'm, I'm going to draw, I'm, I'm gonna draw a diagram real quick. Oh, oh. I'm gonna drop my damn pen. All right, don't judge. I mean, yeah, this looks like a pyramid. This ain't, a, it looks like an underwater pyramid or a pyramid. And uh, I don't, it don't look like a pyramid either, honestly. Ah, oh, fuck that. I, I don't know how to spell that word, so I'm just, <laughs> just not gonna do it. My handwriting is so shitty. Anyway, just look. By tip of the iceberg emotion, I'm referring to where at is something like this, where the small part that you see out of the water. Ooh, hold on, hold on, work with me. Come on, focus on this. Focus on this. There we go. I think this will come up right. So this would be like an iceberg. You see the top right here. That's the top that you see, the top out of the water. That's got the anger which most people then will say that's what most people are showing. Um, but to every anger, that's the tip of the iceberg uh, emotion, but the root emotion behind every anger is a root emotion. So that would be like your, a jealousy or an insecurity or feeling, um, uh, feeling less powerful, not in control, all these things right here. That's what happens. And then this is the expression that we decide to choose after we feel this right here right so this is we have the body that's the whole that's the real thing that's going down but we only see what the pot the part that comes out of the water being the anger or we only portray that so an example your significant other cheats on you you're gonna be angry i don't know whatever way you get down is the way you get down but you're gonna be angry i don't know what you do with that anger you might want to go fight that dude or fight that girl or just curse her out or curse them out or whatever you, the way you handle your things or just punch your pillow or just sit there and cry or whatever. That anger is what is going to be the, what you express because you're, you're angry. Right, so you're angry in that situation, but that's because you feel hurt first. So you might feel the real emotions that you're feeling would be like, say, jealousy. Um, you'll feel less secure about yourself, maybe. Um, you'll feel helpless because maybe you don't know what you're going to do now. You don't know what's going to happen after that. There's a whole bunch of unanswered questions or whatever, but you're hurting on the inside from that. And then we express anger after that. Or let's say somebody comes up and like, just like really disrespects you or something in front of like your, your friends or something. Like you, you'll end up showing anger because you're angry about that. I mean, everyone's different then. Um, keep that in mind. Everyone's different but most, most likely you're gonna show some form of anger. But what's below that is the feeling of like, kind of like helplessness and like, or like not helplessness, but like, what's the word? What's the, when you, like you can't let this guy do that to you because it's, it's like inferior, like you feel inferior to him or whoever's doing that to you. You have to do something. You can't just not do anything. So you might feel this way or whatever. And then you're like, then you react with anger. Or let's say someone's like cracking on you, you know, joking around and they're getting you good you're more likely to feel like embarrassment from that. But that's not a cool emotion. You're not gonna sit there, especially with your boys or something and they're getting, like people are just getting on you. You're not gonna sit there and just look embarrassed. Like, no, come on. That's, that's not a cool emotion to look, especially with like your people. So you're probably gonna, sh instead of just sitting there looking embarrassed, you're more likely to act out with some type of anger. The anger doesn't have to be crazy, especially with us. Good work. The, situation we painted is with friends. So it's not like you're gonna go fight or whatever, but you might be like, man, shut up! But like, kind of like, aggressive. So I'm just trying to paint the picture of anger kind of being the like the follow-up emotion. Kind of like I'm saying with the tip of the iceberg thing. Like we see that, but there's more to it. And this kind of thing can help you if you're just self-evaluating. 
um, looking into yourself, figuring out what makes you anger, ang what makes you anger, what makes you angry. And when you can find the root of why you're being angry or what's what's really getting to you, when you know the root causes, you get better at it over time. You can just ch ch jump right to right jump right to it. You can if you're trying to help yourself or if you if you have problems in that area or whatever, like you can. Die, you know, die, self-diagnose it and like work through it. You can get straight to the root of what's um, what's like the underlying thing, and you can deal with it that way. You can deal with it better. Also, it's good with other people because, like, to me, like people don't really get under my skin. They don't really. I don't really get angry because I mean I can, <laughs> but like I don't not like I used to. I'm better at seeing like seeing things and understanding and if somebody else is angry or with whatever's going on with them if they're acting out towards me usually i figure out what's going on with them figure them out most times you can if you practice it you can figure out what's going on and it's most of the time has nothing to do with you you can see some underlying roots and causes of what's going on and why they're acting out in these ways and you're less likely to be affected by it because of that so when i see why you're acting this way it's, I'm less likely to feel some type of way about it. But that's pretty much it. I just want to do a short, sweet, talk about something real quick. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe. And till next time. Which is probably going to be in like 10 minutes. Because I'm going to make another video. But I'm going to change my shirt so it don't look the same.